Hey, what's up guys? It's Manny here, back from Monster Comics. Today I'm bringing you a new, brand new video. It's not my weekly comic book reviews. It's a bonus video, some bonus content. Something I really wanted to do. Um, as you guys know, the name of the channel and the name of my uh, comic book uh, brand is called Monster Comics. Um, two of my favorite things, obviously, as you guys know, is comic books and superheroes. But another big part of my life is definitely, I would have to say, horror movies. Um, I've always grown up loving horror movies. You know, all the classics like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween and all that stuff I grew up with. So it really like made me become a really hardcore horror movie fan. I always go to the, you know, conventions in New Jersey. We have a lot of good ones like um, Monster Mania convention and um, a lot of conventions that happen down south like in Atlantic City. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm a big horror fan. And that's another reason why the channel is called Mo Monster Comics. And I wanted to combine the two. And as you know, our logos is kind of like a Frankenstein logo. I love the Hollywood monster. So, um, yeah, definitely uh, definitely one of the big things in my life that I love is definitely everything horror related. So today, I thought I'd brought, bring the two together and uh, bring you a cool video and show you my collection of my horror movie comic book related books. So this is not all of them. These are just the ones that I pulled that I like. And they're basically horror movie related comic books. Um, and I wanted to show you guys a few of them that are in my collection. Um, before we get started, I should talk about what I have here. These are two painting uh, prints that I grabbed from Monster, uh, Monster Mania Convention the last time I went. Uh, the guy who does the artwork for the Shout Factory DVDs actually made these prints. He did the artwork for Tesca, uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 for Shout Factory. The guy who did that artwork actually made these. And then right here, I was able to meet Linda Blair from The Exorcist, and I got her to sign this Rube Morg uh, magazine with a few other things. But uh, yeah, like I said, I'm always at the conventions when the world was normal. So hopefully when things get back to normal, if you guys see me, uh, definitely come up to me and say what's up. Uh, but yeah, that's where some of the things that I got from the horror conventions back in the day. Um, but let me get back to, you know, the comic books that I'm going to show you so I don't get sidetracked. Um, the first one that I want to show you, I'm going to take this down is none other than John Carpenter's Halloween. They actually came out with this comic, like I believe this was like in 2000, like early 2000s. This was the number one. Uh, awesome cover, classic, iconic cover from the first movie. I love anything Michael Myers related. As you guys can tell, it's definitely one of my favorite horror characters. Michael and Freddy and uh, Leatherface are probably my top three. So whenever I come around comic books and I'm in a comic book shop and there's something horror related, I always wind up picking it up, especially if it's like a comic book, because you really don't see a lot of them. I mean, I know a lot of people have them, but like a lot of comic book shops don't carry them. So every time I am I have an opportunity to buy something that's a comic book that's horror related, I always wind up picking it up, especially if it's like my favorite characters like Michael and Freddy and Leatherface and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's the second one that I have here is Halloween number one, uh, Halloween three number one. I think believe I believe this is from the same company that released this one. Uh, let me take this down. Yeah, Chaos Comics. Chaos Comics is the one that released these. And like I said, I didn't pay a lot for these. I mean, a lot of these you can find for a reasonable amount. Um, but yeah, this is the number three. Awesome cover. You guys can check that out. The next one I have is um, Halloween Part Two, number one. Um, this is one of my favorite covers. Um, the artwork on this is pretty sick. It's also released by Chaos Comics or Chaos on the Edge. Um, awesome cover of Michael. Like I said, I'm a big Michael Myers and Halloween fan. Um, grew up just watching all the movies. I love all the movies. Um, and you know, anytime I come around stuff, like I said, that's anything related to any of the other characters I like, I always try picking it up. Um, another one that I have here that's pretty awesome. I got this the year when the movie was coming out, the 2018 version. There was a lot of hype with the Michael Myers uh, Halloween movie. So when you were going to comic book shops, you would see some of them will be putting out stuff that they had that was Halloween related. But uh, I was able to get the 30th anniversary or 30 Years of Terror Halloween issue where like Jamie Lee Curtis and Michael are both on the cover. That's one of my favorite covers. I love it. Um, I wanted to get this sign at a con. Hopefully, you know, Jamie Lee Curtis winds up doing a con. I know she never does them. Um, but it would be cool trying to get these signed by uh, some of the cast. Now, moving on to the next uh, couple books that I have here. We went from Halloween. Now we're moving on to Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger is definitely my favorite horror-related character. Nightmare on Elm Street is my favorite horror movie next to the first original Halloween. 
Um, so I have picked up this awesome cover of Nightmare on Elm Street. I believe this is issue one. This one was done by House of Horrors. They come out with these cool covers that are like really glossy. As you guys can see, it's pretty awesome. And um, I believe this was limited. There was only like uh, 1,300 copies and you get the certificate on the back. It was a very super limited run that they did of these, which this is awesome. I definitely want to get this signed by Robert England. That's a must. I believe I have another, yeah, right here. This one's even nicer. This is another one from uh, Nightmare, uh, it's Nightmare on Elm Street, the special number one, uh, also brought to you by House of Horror. And again, this one, there's only 500 copies of this one and it's certified. You guys can see that's the front. So these were very limited. Like I said, I got lucky. I went to a comic book store and they had a bunch of these out and nobody was buying them. And me being a huge horror fan, I was like, oh man, these are awesome. I just kept thinking I have to get these autographed, you know? So I was able to pick this one up. Awesome cover. Like I said, that one's only 500 copies. I believe I had another Nightmare on Elm Street one before I get sidetracked here. I don't, I know I have, I definitely have another one. I just don't know where it is. I have to look. I just grabbed mainly a bunch of them that I like. Um, the next one that I'm going to show you is the Friday the 13th Jason. Uh, well, Jason versus Jason X. Um, a lot of these I've never read before. I just mainly buy them because of the cover art and because of the limit. I just, I love comic book art. And whenever I find something that's horror related with comic book art, it's awesome. It's like best of both worlds. But the next one I got was Friday the 13th and it's Jason versus Jason X. Pretty awesome cover. Then I have uh, Jason vs. Jason X. I believe this is issue two. Yeah, the rap. so it's a mini series. Issue two rap. It's pretty sick. Love that cover. Then I have another uh, Friday the 13th. Jason vs. Jason X cover. A foil cover. Really awesome. It's kind of like both of them combined. Love that cover. This one's actually uh, limited as well. Only a thousand copies made. Awesome cover. Aside. Then another Friday the 13th one I have. Um, this was actually the issue special one, also made by House of Horror, and this one is limited to 2,100 copies. Uh, I was able to snag this one. Pretty awesome cover. Definitely want to get that signed. I'll put that there for now. And one of the final ones that I uh, I found, I believe I found this one at a comic book convention. Um, I want to say it was New York Comic Con. Someone had a long box of uh, horror related comics and I was able to grab this one. Um, I don't even, I think, I believe the name of this company is called North Star. Um, but it's uh, Leatherface. The series of the, the comic book series called Leatherface. It looks like the Leatherface from part three uh, with uh, Viggo Mortensen. Um, yeah, that's that kind of artwork, as you guys can tell. Pretty cool. I wanted to show that one. I do have another uh, Texas Chainsaw one. I just have to find it. Like I said, I have a ton of these. Um, I have a ton of these comics, and I have a ton of long boxes. So it's always hard trying to go through them and try to pick them up because I always sort things differently and put things in different boxes. So these are the ones, guys, that I uh, found that I wanted to show you that I like, uh, horror-related. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at all these. And... It's definitely something that's pretty cool to do, like, because it's not the norm. Like, you don't, you know, horror movies, because there's a bunch of horror independent comics, but, like, usually horror-related movie stuff is rare. You really don't come by it. So when I do come by them, I wind up picking them up. And um, I wanted to end the show with showing you guys a comic book that's horror-related that I've been reading lately, and that's none other than uh, Issue 1. This is from Aftershock Comics, and it's Maniac of New York. And... This came out like about a month ago, and um, I have to say, this is pretty awesome. It, it's basically like, whoever wrote this obviously liked Freddy in New York, in Manhattan, Freddy in Manhattan, because this is what it, it kind of reminds me of, like, a lot. I mean, you, it, you could just tell it's blatantly taken from that. It's basically about a slasher killer who has like this white mask, who, it doesn't look like Jason's mask. Um, I'm sorry, Jason in Manhattan, I said Freddy before, Jason's mask um, in Manhattan, and the comic book starts out where you're seeing the news and you see how this crazy slasher killer killed like 400 people in on New Year's Eve in Manhattan. And he kind of looks like Jason and, um, uh, they call him the maniac killer and he only kills in certain areas. 
And uh, like I said, it, it's definitely a uh, spinoff from um, Friday the 13th. The character, you know, supposedly the main killer or the cop who uh, who's the detective from the story was in a camp from New Jersey. So there's a lot of similarities, but like I said, if you're really into horror and you like the Friday the 13th and Jason, definitely check this one out. It's called Maniac of New York. Um, it's pretty cool. This is only the first issue. The second issue comes out this week, I believe. Um, but yeah, it's pretty awesome, guys. Check this one out. It's horror-related. You'd probably definitely like it. Um, but yeah, guys, that's just some of the horror books that I have. Like I said, I want to start doing more horror-related videos with any kind of comics that I get or any kind of like speculation with movies coming out. Um, I know Halloween was supposed to have part two coming out from the 2018, and that kind of died down because of COVID, and we had that one little teaser. Um, but yeah, I plan on doing a lot of more horror-related stuff on this channel since I do love both comics and horror, but this is just a little video I wanted to show you guys of all the horror-related comic books that I have in my collection. Like I said, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share all the content that I post for anybody I'm um, trying to get like you know well known in the community so people can see what I'm putting out. But yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my next video next week. Bye guys.